Hey friends and welcome to The Wishing Clock. My name is Hannah and you can find me on Poshmark, Instagram, and here on YouTube at The Wishing Clock. I actually have a thrift with me video today. So this is my second one being uploaded for this channel. Um, I did bring my kids along. So if you see a random horse sitting in the cart during the thrift with me portion, um, that is why. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to jump to that footage of the thrift with me, and then we're going to show you all 30 pieces that I found within that hour uh, trip at the bin. So I hope you enjoy, and I hope you like this video. Let's get to it.
footage. I know it can be a little bit difficult to see everything. The bins are not well lit. I had my kids with me and there was a random horse that kept appearing throughout the footage. <laughs> so um, we're gonna jump into the haul portion of this video. I spent about $39 and actually acquired 30 pieces and I'm super excited. I actually found uh, the first piece, which I believe is gonna be in my thumbnail, which is a Reformation dress. And this is my first time finding Reformation and it just so happened to be on this day. This item is already listed and has received quite a bit of attention in the past 24 hours. So this is Reformation and this I believe is the Alana wrap dress. So it's got this nice modest top with a cap sleeve and then this cutout detail and then a skirt portion which is kind of hard to show you guys but it wraps completely around uh, which is nice because it's kind of adjustable in that sense. Um, and then it also is just a midi length, which is super in right now. Very pretty red fabric. So yeah, that piece is already listed. These other items are going to be listed. So the next piece is a J. Crew secret wash shirting sewn for J. Crew stretch slim button down in a long sleeve. And it is a two tone blue color. I did pick this up, one, because it feels like it hasn't been worn. There's still that little security tag sensor in it, um, which your, you know, gets worn if you wash it on accident. And it is a, not a newer, newer piece. It's from spring of 2018, but it just feels like it hasn't been worn before. So I figured I'd pick it up, give it a try. The next item, I believe you found me find that you found me find this in the haul portion. This is Eileen Fisher in a size large and this is a silk dress which is a great find. So very excited about this piece and again I believe it's silk. Let's check it out though just in case. Oh no this one is tensile, lyocell, and viscose. So there is other silk pieces that I found in this haul but this one is not one of them. The next item is again Eileen Fisher. This is going to be quite a bit of Eileen Fisher. It was another day where I just lucked out on all of those pieces. So this is Eileen Fisher size large just a tunic almost sweater dress length style in a soft powdery blue see what the fabric content is on this. It's a nice, soft, stretchy fabric. And it is tensile lyocell, organic cotton, and silk blend. So I don't know what person dropped off all of their Eileen Fisher, but I am so grateful. And a lot of it, I believe, is in a size large. Yep, so another Eileen Fisher size large. This is a green, kind of hunter green coat with a almost mandarin collar. Um, there's no buttons down the front, so I guess it might be considered more of a cardigan. And this is just 100% organic cotton. Um, make sure when you're listing Eileen Fisher that you always put that keyword of organic in it because people do search for that sometimes. This is another baby blue piece, and I'm wondering if this piece is actually a set with that dress, because this is the duster length cardigan and it's the same fabric makeup of tinsel, lyocell, um, cotton, and silk. This is Lafayette 148 in a size large, might also be from that person, um, and it's just a basic striped shirt. I don't pick up all Lafayette 148, however because this is a size large and this is kind of a nice uh, transitional piece one and also it can work for business casual or for casual. I figured I'd give it a try, see how it does. Not expecting too much for it. So this is Eileen Fisher and it is yellow and it is in a size large and I love it. <laughs> so this piece has some nice little seam details going on for it and the fabric on this guy is 56% linen and 44% organic cotton. Just a really cute top. Next, we're gonna get into a pair of jeans. These are Judy Blue and they are a plus size 18 wide 
and they're the skinny fit style in camo. They're in excellent condition. And I have a feeling that these will sell pretty quickly. Judy Blue, if it's in a larger size, sells pretty quickly. I have noticed a slowdown though with the um, smaller sizes. This is Eileen Fisher again in a size large and this is one of the silk pieces. This is a tunic length silk button down in a window pane plaid with the pockets on the chest. There's that tag, I don't know if I showed it to you. And here it is saying 100% silk. If it's gonna focus for you guys. So yeah, 100% silk, button down, all the buttons are there. I didn't see a stain, but we'll double check it when I get it hung up and, you know, situated before listing it. This is another Lafayette 148 piece, and this is a gorgeous cardigan in a size, hello, I just completely held it backwards, size large. And the fabric makeup for this piece is 45% silk, 43% wool, 7% lurex, and 5% sequins. Uh, so I figured this fabric blend and the fact that we're going into fall, it was a good time to pick up that piece and again give Lafayette 148 a try. So this is probably one of the more uh, lag and look style pieces that I found for Eileen Fisher. It's a size medium. It's a blouse. It is semi sheer. And I believe it's completely linen. The fabric tag is cut out, but there's no give or anything like that. So yeah, we'll see how it does. It's kind of an interesting piece. I like it. This is an Athleta jacket. Older tag, but that doesn't phase me. It's a size small and it has pockets galore. It also has the reflective details on it and it's in a gorgeous green color. So I didn't see any flaws with this. I'm excited to see how this does. I'm assuming I'll get around $30 for it, but I don't know yet just because I actually haven't listed uh, that many of that style jacket before. This is another Eileen Fisher. Don't get tired of me, guys. I know there's a lot, but they're good pieces. This is another size large. This is a linen and cotton knit. It's in a softer, more powdery yellow color. And again, that longer tunic fit. This is an adorable Everlane sweater, and it kind of looks like the aqua uh, cashmere sweater that I picked up prior in one of my previous hauls. However, this is Everlane and it is a size small. Super cute, should do well. Everlane tops always sell very quickly for me, especially when they're in excellent condition. This I believe is another Eileen Fisher silk piece. Nope, this is Lafayette 148. And this piece I picked up because it has this gorgeous like silver chain detail on it. And I think that's so cute. And this is 100% silk. Just a nice sage green, which was one of the bigger colors of this season. So I'm hoping that gives it a little bit more uh, sellability points. This is Lafayette, or La oh my God, guys, blah, 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 blah. glitch. This is Lululemon, obviously, and it's a hoodie. It does have some wear to the fabric, um, most of which should go away with a shaving tool. However, you know, it is an older style, so I'm not expecting to get more than that $30, $35 price tag for it. Plus, Lululemon has just kind of slowed down. This is a Wackel bra, and it's optionally strapless. It's a 38 double D, and that... 38 band size always seems to do really well for me and everybody needs a strapless optional bra. So pick that up. This is an Eileen Fisher tank in a beautiful green color and I believe this one a cotton blend. Yeah so 70% silk and 30% cotton. I might keep this for myself. We'll see. <laughs> 
These are new with tags, so I decided just to grab them. They're a pair of IT shorts in a size 16 with tummy tuck technology. IT jeans used to be like a great pair of jeans that you used to purchase from Macy's when I was younger. Um, it does seem like they've kind of bit the dust and done more, some collaborations with TJ Maxx and Ross, which do bring down the value a little bit, unfortunately. However, um, people of my age know that brand, so I figured it's got some been going for it. This is Judy Blue in a size 14 wide. These are exposed button detail and then the distressed leg with a raw hem. Again, should do well just because the size and the stretchiness of the pant. This is probably my favorite of the Eileen Fisher pieces. It's a size large and it is a dress in black, but it has a white lining. So it's got that contrasting effect. I love it. Again, silk. This is Citizens of Humanity, the Avidon Low Rise Skinny. These are a size 30, it's a great size. Excellent condition. There's that classic H pocket. We'll see how they do. I did just recently sell another pair of the Avidon Low Rise Skinny, which is why I was definitely happy to pick them up. Um, they're not always going to sell quickly, but they always do sell within that 60 day period and usually for a decent amount to be bread and butter for my closet. This is Judy Blue and these are the boyfriend fit. Jeez, I can't read right now. And they're in 18 wide and they are the more heavily distressed style. They also have that splatter effect with the bleach that's super popular right now. High waisted. Yeah, I was just super happy to find Judy Blue. Judy Blue was one of the top performing jean brands last year, I believe, as far as sell-through rate. Um, Amber Resells, who's an awesome reseller with a lot of cool content here on YouTube about uh, the more statistics and numbers side of things. Uh, she was the one who brought Judy Blue to my attention. So this is Eileen Fisher, another window pane plaid, little tiny sheath dress, does not have pockets. Super happy. This is another really interesting Eileen Fisher piece. Kind of reminds me of that brand Asuka that I've shown you guys previously. So it's got kind of a crossover button detail to give it like a vested effect. Um, it could be worn without the button cross detail as like a cardigan without sleeves, but I think it looks cute like that. It looks fun. This is Eileen Fisher in a size large. Again, that Mandarin style collar with a V-neck. It's a gorgeous pink silk. Telling you, whoever this lady was that just donates her Eileen Fisher, like, gotta love her. And again, Eileen Fisher, these are a size 18 and they are a pair of pale gray skinny jeans. And again, in excellent condition. So very, very happy. Last but not least, we have Athleta. And this is a size extra small. Come on now. There we go. Size extra small. And this is one of their modal blend pieces with pockets, the kangaroo pocket on the front, and then kind of a ribbed stretch knit panel on the sides of the bodice. So yeah, that's all I got for $39. And I think I killed it, especially in an hour with kids. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments. And if you made it this far, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for hanging with me during the summer break when my videos are a little bit more random. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.